Well, YouTube Landia, it's time. And look at this. Look at this guy right here. By the way, the bus's name is Gigi for Ganja Green. Patina, baby, 100%. Uh, what are we working on today? Well, today we're going to mess around with this. I don't think I'll get to the back today, but definitely, hopefully, we can get some progress on the front end. Maybe the next couple days, we'll get the back end going. I won't be able to finish, but we'll be able to get a good start on it. So, let's do this. There's two little holes on your hubcap. Boom. There you go. Jack this bad boy up. Get yourself one of these from Harbor Freight. 20 volt lithium battery. And then get yourself one of these adapters. Pull this out. Slide it in. All right, taking off the wheel was the easy part. Now what do you do? <laughs> well, we want to take this whole assembly off. This is drum brakes. We want to switch to this, so we're going to change the spindle. Let's figure out how to take off this drum and spindle. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this uh, dust cap. I got this uh, pry bar from Pittsburgh. Yeah, this is a Harbor Freight pry bar, so I'm just going to use this one. This should be able to, this should, this should be spinning freely, and it's got some pretty bad drag on it. But if you look closely, there's a bump here on the drum, and that's actually where you, where you pry from. All right, that's it. Hey, look at that OG VW dust cap. See the VW logo on there? Okay, now let's take off this bolt right here. We're gonna need an Allen wrench. See that? So let's get that Allen wrench going. Yep. It's a six. Okay, so this is this is too tight. Well, my drums are too uh, open, or they're they're not centered, perhaps. Nope, it's not this. It's loose. Look at that. It's still stuck. So it's the brake pads. Theory should come off. Let's give it a shot. Oh, there's the bearing. See? Alright. Out. Whew. Looks like we had some venture bugs living in here. And a little bench bug party up in here. Party's over, homies. Party's over. So now we gotta take this backing plate off. All right, note to self take the brake line off before you take the uh, backing plate off because it needs to be held steady. 14 millimeter wrench. All right, so removing the brake line. Getting to reach back here with the 14 millimeter wrench and just twist this off. Since this brake line is twisting every time I turn it, I need to uh, disconnect it to allow it to turn here. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this. See how the brake line is twisting? In here. Right, so. Yes. Okay. All 
got the backing plate brake assembly off now we have to get the spindle off so we got these two ball joints here one and two so I'm gonna try to get those off with the socket if I have the right size take that back <laughs> this is actually standard brand uh, size one and one sixteen first thing we're gonna do is take this off before we attempt to mess with those so there's a cotter pin show y'all the proper tool for removing a tie rod end don't bang on this or use one of those forks they those things don't work this is the proper way to remove the tie rod end okay Just tighten this up and it'll pop out Let's try to take these off. a gouge in here I'm thinking that was because this wasn't tightened all the way down so it made a groove in that not good all right we can put the new one on let's take off the other side first though all right so we already got the uh, dust cap off on this side the driver's side has the speedometer cable so your dust cap is gonna have a little hole in it hold on to this uh, speedometer cable and uh, you can just push that in but the other thing is that this spindle nut actually is reverse thread on the driver's side so you're gonna turn it to the right in order to loosen it up you all know the saying lefty loosey righty tidy not in this situation okay got to loosen this first this is lefty loosey but the spindle nut itself is actually 
righty this one. So, turn it to the right in order to take it off. That's your tech tip for the day, my friends. waiting gold driver's side is off now we gotta do is put the new ones on the one in one sixteenths for some reason fits on this german car so you don't want to miss up these threads up here on top so make sure those are kind of like lined up That was the secret. Jack it up from right there. Eww. Eww. Okay, let's tighten this puppy up. There we go. Spindle installed. The top bolt tightened up, Got the bottom one tightened up. And we just have to adjust the camber with this uh, eccentric bolt right here. Uh, we'll do that once we get the, well actually no, I could, I could put my level right here and um, check to see if this is at zero. They say you're supposed to have, I think, a little bit of negative camber, like one degrees. So we'll check on that later after I get the brake stuff hooked up calipers and stuff like that. All right, let's go. All right, well now that we got the spindles on, the drop spindles, what comes next? Well, there's this other piece that you need and the hub assembly. So, we gotta put bearings. We gotta get some bearings for this. So we got the inner and outer bearing. One right here, and one right here. These are gonna go on here like this. Oh, gotta get the bearings on there first, so let's press some bearings in here. Again, outer and inner. All right, so here are my bearings. Got inner and outer ones. See here. These are kind of small, so it's probably. Oh no. Here's the outer, and then this is the inner. Alright, let's see here. Inner front bearing, bus 64 to 79. Okay, so this one is going to go right here. I have to press that in there, and then this one's going to go on the other side. So, got to figure out how we're going to press these bearings in. All right, so we got some stuff on ice. We got some bearing races in there. Mm-hmm. And then for dinner, we're going to cook up some spindles. There we go. Let's put these in the oven at 350. Let's see. Looks like the oven is not being utilized at the moment. Put these puppies in there. Let them roast up for a bit at 350. Fresh out the oven. These are straight out of the freezer. So these are gonna go in there like that. Probably one like that. I'm guessing, right? Yes. This one right there is not gonna look good.
over. All right, let's see how this one goes in. I left this one in there in the oven longer and I left this in the freezer. You can see the freezer marks. Okay, hopefully I'm using the right one this time. All right, and got a bigger hammer too. Let's go. in probably gonna need to put this back in the oven along with this one All right, so we finished phase one of the project. It's the next day. Now we gotta pack these bearings so we can put these hub assemblies on. Went and picked up some high temperature disc brake wheel bearing grease. Let's go. It's about to get messy. some surface rust here from sitting for so many years. Okay, now we should be good. I'm gonna spray this puppy down. Get some brake clean. Get any impurities off. Now we're gonna put the bearing inside here. So we're gonna go with the large bearing. Sits in there like that. And let's see. I think I'm gonna wipe away any excess grease on the top. Okay, and then Alright, now it just slides on there like that. Oh, there it is. A small bearing in there. Okay. There you go. Wipe off this extra stuff here. Now 
gonna reuse this. So we're gonna reuse this part here. Clean that up. All right, now we're just gonna put the spindle nut on. This is a VW part two, still has a stamp on it. So that should be good for this. I think next what I'm gonna do is try to put the calipers on um, before I tighten this all the way down, just in case I have to take it back off. So caliper's gonna mount right here. See, I knew I was gonna have to take something off. I forgot to put the seal on there for the bearings. This one right here. So I'm gonna have to bang that one in there. Let's take a look. Ooh, wait, these things are huge. I think they're painted so they won't rust, thank goodness. Let's take a look at these rotors, huh? Supposedly these are Brembo rotors. Somebody tried to tell me on social media. Those aren't Brembo. The box says Brembo, boo. So your Brembo brakes that you see on a Beamer or whatever, but the box says Brembo, so they manufactured it, I'm guessing. They got their name on it. Boom. There we go. I might paint this. I don't know. This area, they tend to rust. But for now, let's just go, let's go with it. I do have to spray it, though, to get this stuff off of there. It's like an oil to prevent it from rusting during shipping. Yeah, there is like a sticky film on there. So, definitely got to wipe that off because it probably will impact your brake shoes and how they grab the rotor. So, definitely wiping that off. You can see that kind of yellowish stuff on there. Probably because these rotors have been sitting for so long. I don't worry, I'm not worried about this, getting it off of there, because that's not where the brake pads touch. More, more on this section right here. It's looking like the rotors have to go on first. Okay. All right, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this on. Handy dandy buck knife. So I gotta tap this in there. There is a little lip right here. So once the uh, seal hits that, you can stop. All right, so now we can put this uh, hub assembly on and then the calipers. Yeah, 
を受けたんです。Alright, so we've got a slight little problem here. If you notice, there's two holes here. These are for set screws that hold your rotor to the hub assembly. But I also have these. These are lug nuts that'll hold the rotor to the、uh, hub as well. So I might go with that and、uh, for now, just so I can、um, install the calipers. And then I can get the set screws later. So let's see what happens. All right, so the other thing we got going on here are some wheel adapters. This is 5 lug wheel to 5 112. Hopefully, these are the right ones. I hope they are. But these are going to go on here after I put the、um, rotor on. So hopefully, this works. We'll see. This I need to put some Loctite on these. Let's do a test fit for right now. Check my clearances. Okay. Clearance looks good. Perfect actually. Got clearance here, got clearance here. Ooh, yeah, we're good, baby. Look at that. Ooh, w e e Clearance, baby. Clearance right here. So you've got that clearance. Got this clearance right here. We're good. Booyah! Let's get it. All right, well, let's do a test fit with the wheels. I haven't hooked up my brakes yet, so I'm not going to drive it, but just want to see how it sits. I can put the wheels on and lower it actually. And I can use the original lugs. Oh, so we're good there too. Let's try to put the wheel on and see, how, see what happens. Wheels won't fit with the brake calipers with the disc brake conversion. Luckily, I have a solution to this problem. It's called, it's cosmic, it's a cosmic solution. Booyah! There we 
Here it is, baby. Cosmo, cosmic solution. Damn. Fire. Straight fire. Plenty of clearance. You can see it right there. Oh yeah.